Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to make a video about the Crayola Colors of the World Mostly Marker Challenge that I'm issuing to uh, everybody who makes YouTube videos, people on Instagram, everybody who just colors because maybe is not on any of those platforms, etc. and so on. It's all inclusive. So, uh, you can do this challenge in any book that you have, whatever you want, Joanna Basford, Hannah Carlson, Thomas Loftomic, Coco Wyo, anything. I'm going to do the challenge today in Fedorable's Minis. This is book one. I have had, this is the mini pocket version. I think they sell it in regular size too. Uh, this is one of the... <laughs> I've had this book in my collection since the very, very early days, uh, and I've yet to color in it, so I think it's it's good to do this. Now, I actually had this picture picked out for Olga Rani's Medusa Challenge, and obviously it's not done for that, and the deadline has long passed, or actually just passed a few days ago, I think, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it for this challenge. Sorry, Olga. Someday I'll be able to complete one on time, maybe someday. It's a goal. <laughs> Goals. All right, but the challenge is pick any picture from any coloring book you want, and you're going to color it mostly with Crayola Colors of the World markers. If you have them, if you don't, then you don't have to do the challenge. I don't want you to necessarily go out and buy something you don't have. And I want it to be a challenge. I don't... The teacher in me does not like the idea of tagging people because then people are left out and people get their feelings hurt. Um... But I am going to specifically challenge two people just to get the ball rolling. And because they told me that they had these markers, I think when I did a haul video or something, I can't remember. Uh, so I'm going to specifically challenge Pixie from Pixie's Projects and Johanna from Jojozahana, the YouTube channels, because I know that they don't have to go out and buy them, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not mistaken about that. I'm relying on my memory here. So um, I've also got uh, the Crayola Colors of the World colored pencils, which I may use on this page a little bit in some of the hard to get to areas, perhaps. Like when I give her a little blush on her cheek or something. So, uh... What we're looking at here, I'm going to use, I, and I'm not limiting myself. I was tempted to make it where you just use one of the, like the golden or the almond or the rose, but I was looking at the page and the colors and I'm like, oh, I could use this here and I could use this here and this here. So I'm just going to leave it open to the whole pack. Like I said, I do have the color pencils as well. They're long since out of their box as they're down here. As those were also one of the first coloring supplies I bought, Crayola Color Pencils, of course. Uh, so I've had those a very long time, or, you know, how long have I been coloring? A year and a half, maybe? Something around there? All right, so that is the challenge. Now, first, before I get started here and put you on uh, time lapse, I'm going to alter this page just a smidge, not much. She looks like, it's weird, because she looks like she's standing on a stage. So I'm going to change this. I was doing a little rough, rough thing here. I'm going to change it to look like she's on the top of a plateau or a cliff or something. And I think I'm going to add a moon somewhere, probably over here. I don't know. Somewhere we're going to add a moon, and that's it. And perhaps at the end, I say mostly... Crayola Colors of the World markers. Uh, like I said, I may use a few pencils. I may also use, in the very end, an embellishment, like a gel pen or a acrylic paint marker, paint pen, something like that, just for maybe eyes, snake eyes, stuff like that. We shall see. But I'm leaving it a little bit, a little bit open for that. So, hopefully, you will join me in the challenge and let me know if you do a YouTube video about it, and let me know if you post it on Instagram. 
if there's enough interest, maybe I'll do a, in a few months, maybe I'll do a slideshow of the done pictures. We shall see how it goes. But that's the, that's the challenge for, for now. Okay, so I'm going to flip you over while I make some changes to the, the page and start laying in some background tones. All right. So I thought I'd quickly pop on here to show you what I'm doing a little bit um, because I forgot my own technique. I'm like, oh, it's Amazon paper. We don't have to be so careful, blah, blah, blah. And I was scrubbing a bit here instead of doing my technique, you know, my streak-free water-based marker technique instead of just going in my lines and then going over it again. I'm like, oh, we can get it all in one pass, but no, we can't because look at what it does to the paper so yeah I forgot my brain a little bit there and didn't do my usual technique and we end up with some damage to the paper and it's still not streak free anyway so may as well just take the time and do the streak free here you can see I've gone in one direction and when it dries I'll go in the other direction but just wanted to you know point out to you what can happen it's like using water paper, uh, watercolor and the paper starts to crinkle. Um, I'm going to let it dry thoroughly before I go over it with second coats there. So, Just wanted to pop off and give a forewarning there to everybody. Alright, I thought I would pop back on again and show you what it looks like. This is just one coat everywhere. We talked about how I messed up the moon there, not using my own technique. But this is one coat going in all one direction. You can see the streaks. I'm going to go over it when it's dry and do it in the opposite direction, a cross-hatching motion. 
I haven't done inside the snake hair yet because I don't know what is background and what's going to be snake color. So I'm going to save that. Just write down what I used there. So now we're going to go in the opposite direction. And hopefully when I pop back on again, it will look uh, less streaky. All right. See you in a minute. Okay. We're back again. Uh, I've got two coats everywhere. This book does not want to stay open. So it looks it looks a bit better. I did I did kind of wreck the moon there, but I will probably put moon texture in that later, most likely. And then I think that would be disguised. It didn't do that anywhere else where I decided to, you know, just do the 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 the, the one stroke in one way and the stroke in the opposite way. And if this were not an Amazon book, something I cared a little bit more about, I would probably do a third stroke. It's, you can still see it's a little bit streaky, although now it's disguised because it's cross-hatched. But that's what it looks like with two coats. And interesting to note on Amazon paper, it does go through, unlike some of my other papers where I used it, and it did not go through, although it seemed like Crayola markers go through a little bit more than, say, the Ahuhu water-based markers that I have and the Tombows. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to start I'm going to start doing the details now. The background is all done with the rose uh, markers. And I think for the background, I'm probably going to use the almonds and the golden, or the foreground, I should say. I'm going to use the almonds and the golden. I will probably put some texture here. I'm going to go and work on the work on the main focal points first and then we'll see what we do with that towards the end all right i'll check in a little bit okay we're back and this is the last part uh it's not finished yet but i'm going to unveil it here for you of my crayola colors of the world mostly markers challenge to one and all like I said, I'm going to I'm going to ask two people to do it who I know told me they have the product already. You don't have to go out and buy it if you don't want to. It's, you know, <laughs> it's just a challenge. I hope lots of people will do it if they if they own Crayola Colors of the World markers. Um, but you don't have to. So, but if you do it, if you put a video or you put it on Instagram, please tag me, let me know so I can see what you did and comment. And join, join your channel, subscribe, or join your Instagram thing. I don't even have the right terms. So, it's not finished yet, like I said, but here's where we are thus far. And I will unveil the rest of it in my finished pages video. I've just run out of time. Basically, I haven't colored at all this week. It's Thursday. Haven't had time to color. It's been that kind of crazy week at school. But... Here we are. So the background is all done with the rose colors of the world markers. And the foreground is done with the, a mixture of the three rose, golden, and what's the other one? Almond. So a mixture of the three. I like, I like the uh, kind of the minimalness of the background against the busyness of her little outfit there her scales <laughs> i i think her hair needs to be a little bit more busy to kind of counterbalance the the scales there and i may do some texture in the ground i think i'm going to do some texture in the moon a little bit i'm going to try the rub it on the palette and pick it up and paint the little moon texture on there i just got a moon book and there's lots of good images for me to look at so and i still have yet to do the the column the column work there but like I said the rest will be unveiled in my finished pages video I believe the next one I'm going to do is we did August so September October yeah that's right September October so it'll be the end of October you'll see it there so I hope you all partake it's open to all I don't like I don't like tag videos as I feel people get left out so it's, it's just a challenge to all, so I hope you will partake. And I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening, whatever it may be. 
and I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.